For a saint is just a sinner who fell down. Be back at it like a crack addict waiting on a hit, okay? Ooh, ooh, don't lose that. I'm gonna use some of my Tatcha. This is the lip mask because my lips are extremely dry, but I need to continue to get my water up. That's what the issue is. And this is it right here. It's all just, did you see it just was okay. But yeah, I love this lip mask. This has to be my favorite lip mask. Seriously. I know Bath and Body, everybody has lip masks, but this one right here. This the truth. Okay. Not the truth. The truth. Okay. I only know about uh the truth because my mom, my mom go, oh no, the truth in that X Y, the truth in that X Y, the truth in that X Y. I be like, God dang, bro, who is these people you so invested in? <laughs> now this is my sheen outfit. You can't really see it all. I'll show you what the bottom part looks like. Like it's real big at the bottom. All this room, y'all. Woo, this is so comfortable in my shoes. Um. But yeah, I need to start getting my water in. It's 8 o'clock in the morning. I have to take Grace's glasses to get them taken care of. Because her glasses, she bent them. Where are they at? And I'm going to see if they can use their machine and bend them back. Because I ain't trying to do nothing. Um, And I got to make them an appointment to get new glasses anyway. See if their vision got better. But look at them glasses. <laughs> My poor Gracie Foo. What, what is going on here? Her glasses are cute though. I love them. They need to be clean. But she has transition, listen, transition lenses. Justin does too. And I have them in these Prada glasses too. Transition lenses. So when it's really nice outside, it transitions and it, they become sunglasses. So I really like that for them. Um, but this thing is really sitting sideways. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get these to the repair shop find out what they're saying and it's gonna cost me anything is it still under warranty i don't know and i'm gonna make them appointment um you know for another vision test and i gotta find out what's going on with my car but i just seen that my rental was extended for 13 days so i'm like oh, it's gonna take them forever to fix my car i just want my car back like People don't understand, rentals are cool, but it's nothing like having your own. Like 13 days, that's almost two weeks without my car. Like, that's bananas. Bananas be a and a and a us. Get it, Grace. Get it, Grace. Get him, Glow. Get him, Glow. Get him, me. Get him, Justin. Get him, Christian. Get him Grace. Get him Justin. Get him Grace. One, two, three. I'm not really long. I'm showing you it's cold out there. Nah. Got my camera ready. Ready for the intro. Ooh, it's water at the bottom of the slide. Don't do it, girl. Too much water at the bottom. Yeah, those are some nice ones. Pick what scissors you like. You can get whatever you like. Said you can get whatever you like at the Dollar Tree. Yeah. All right, grab it. What are you owe? What? 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 What we owe it? What? What we owe it? Put your seatbelts on. And you can just eat them, and you're figuring out like, wait, they're not that spicy, and then you just eat them. Dry, old, and stale. And they will turn you pale. Oh, bars. <laughs> okay, bars. <laughs> Y'all, I love my glasses at home. I, I always do that. My bad. Let me turn this down. Um, why they called me about my car and told me they're the sheriff right there too. Mom, hands free. Look, ma, no hands. I said, look, ma, no hands. Okay, no hands, ma, no hands. But anyway, I'm going to just stay a little bit back farther than him. Like, he a little bit up, I'm a little bit back. And we're going to just keep it like that, okay? We're going to keep it like that because that's Sheriff, too. That's Sheriff. All right. But anyway, what was, what was I saying? But anyway, why they tell me I need a new roof called a new? Girl, 
I'm so I'm so flabbergasted. Is that the word flabbergast? Flabber. I'm so something. Oh my god. Oh no. Don't see me turning. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, cause I, I I can't be using this and, and doing that at the same time. I told the sheriff right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. I ain't riding dirty or nothing, but uh, don't need him in my business. Anyway, anyway, um, what was I saying? I forgot. <laughs> okay, do, do I remember now? Do I remember? Yes. Okay, they said my car need a new roof. They said the car need a new roof. That's how bad the damage is that it needs a new roof from the um from the hailstorm that we had back in September. It's so bad that they need to pull my roof back and give me a new a new roof. I'm like, "What?" So my rental car is extended to the 26 cuz my car needs a roof. Y'all wanna know how much this damage is? Twelve thousand something dollars. Thank goodness the insurance company paying for it. Oh my gosh! And they eating that deductible. Mhm. Mm um. Yeah. I'm mad. But I'm not because if I would have took their first thing they said, the insurance company was like, "We'll give you a little check for for four thousand dollars, you know, and then that cover, you know." No, I said no. Nah, I'll let the shop look at it. and He'll get back to you. We approved it. They were able to prove why you needed that amount, and it's whatever. This is how close the people be to you, like seriously. Minis are cute. But this is the bags I was talking about. It's cute, true food catering. These are thin though. These are really thin bags, but yeah. Oh yeah, they are really thin, but that's the bags. Yeah, so I'm on here just getting it. I mean, I can't wait to I get some new hair because first of all, this hair made me look old. I didn't know, it's the hair, the glasses, is not me having myself together and that's my fault. But I'm on my comeback era. Like, give me these 30 days. It's gonna be like, oh, she, she was just playing. That was just that swelling from that IIH. And a lot of it actually is from when I was in the hospital. I probably inserted a picture right here of when I was in the hospital. Um, they told me IIH can cause swelling and you know, weight gain, but it all ain't the IIH. Talk about it, girl. It's me eating. Okay? But a lot of the swelling, why it looks so, so bad, is because of the IIA. So my face is gonna go down really fast. My face looks like now. My face did not look like this last month. So in less than 30 days, my face puffered like a puffer fish out. And that's from the IIH. So I'm back on all my meds and everything. So in 30 days. The fatness in the space. And you do whatever exercise you're gonna do, and you do 12 reps in each. Sorry, the light was crap in here. Who bringing a whole lighting set up in the gym? Not me. But you wanna do whatever you wanna do. These are the different things I'm gonna be working on, and I'm gonna do. 12 sets of each, three. So it's gonna be 
12 reps, three sets. That's what I meant to say. So let me get this done. Get a tea, get a tea, get a tea, get a tea. Go Manita, go Manita, go Manita, go Manita. Hey. And I'm on my future. Okay, I'm on my future. I'm on my future. Don't talk about me. Don't talk about me. Don't do it, sweetheart. Y'all, I'm over here wondering why the lighting really, really dark. I got on these glasses. Slow people moment. <laughs> and these Chanel's, y'all, these things right here get really, really dark. And I'm like, why is it so dark? Why is it? Girl. Donkey of the day goes to you. They go to me. Okay. Um, but these right here are my Chanel glasses. Um, the polarized. And this is real like level. That's on the side of these bad boys. My hair is in it. Ugh. But yeah. And it got the double C's on the side. It's on both sides. Yeah. Y'all know I just love me some Chanel. So like. But I ain't been buying these high priced items no more. Oops. I'm gonna put them down right there. I don't buy high price items no more. I really don't like. I even still got because this is the rental car, but I, these are my favorites. The Dior's. These are really cute too. These are a lot cheaper though. I think these was like, y'all. I'm gonna look it up. I think these like two fifty. That don't sound right. I think yeah, like two fifty. I I look it up, but I, the Dior's is like two fifty. These bad boys was six something, 600 something, almost $700. And it's because of the leather, it being real leather on the side bands. Stuff like this, I used to waste my money on. Stupid, like real stupid. Like, y'all, I look at my videos from four years ago and I'm like, how the heck was y'all even watching me? And I'm sorry about the lighting coming in because the sun coming in from that way. How the heck was y'all even watching me? Like, I, I don't know. Maybe I changed in the last four years. Besides just wait, I changed a lot. Like me, I changed me. <laughs> like young son's a fool. But um, a lot about me has changed. Like materialistic heightened items. Like they're cool. But do I see myself wanting to buy another pair of thousand dollar Fendi shoes? <sighs> Like, I don't know, why was I doing that? I'm trying to realize, well, rationalize why I was doing that. I just think maybe at the time I had disposable income like that and I just didn't know what to do with it. Mm, nah. Now, it's, influencers got me. I ain't even gonna count. <laughs> These influencers got me like, you. I need to be in my luxury life. But I still want to be luxury in, in that life. But I don't think I need to buy things all the time. Like, my dude for my birthday he was like let me go ahead and buy you um a louis vuitton purse i'm like no give me the money <laughs> let me pay some bills okay <laughs> and that's what he did like what the heck 2k on a purse mm -mm. i got this long list of bills right here check it out check it out check it out check it out thank you happy birthday to me hey you know I guess I'm growing up. Like, even though I was like 34, but I'm 38 now. So there's like a difference, I guess, in those four years of growth. Um, and I was looking back, to be honest, at those videos to see the old me. Because y'all know I got down to 188 pounds. And I was looking at the old me. And um, even though the old me was like 40 something pounds ago, 40 something pounds is a big difference. And I was just looking at my lifestyle and how I was living and how I was eating. And, you know, so I can get back to that. And one thing I was doing, every time you see me, I had a cup, okay? I have a Stanley, don't, I got two Stanleys, y'all. But I had my Starbucks cup, you know? Stanley wasn't even popping like that. I had my Starbucks cup. Every time you see me, I'm... Gotta get this water down, gotta get this water down. And it encouraged me. For one, to bring back out my Starbucks, put my Stanley up. Because the Stanley be too heavy. Like, let's keep it a book. The Stanley heavy. 
And I don't want to always be riding around with the Stanley. It's heavy, okay? I ride around with my Stanley because my heavy, okay? So, this is more lightweight and practical to be around. So, I got that. Plus, my girl CNC TV is back, and she's been vlogging up a storm. And she be having her Starbucks cup, and she really is one of the people that encouraged me to be on the right track. She lost a lot of weight. She got herself together, you know? And she really was a big influence to me uh, about water intake and fasting and stuff like that. So I just wanted to give a big up to CNC TV because I'm glad she's back. She's back on her weight loss journey. She's getting her life back. She's gained weight. She's getting her life back. She's losing her weight again. And it's so nice to see somebody, you know, that's like you. We in the same state, everything. I don't know why I ain't see her yet, girl. When I go to Dallas, we need the link. Seeing someone that's just like you, it makes it look easy. Like, this is all you really got to do. And she makes it like, I know how crazy as it may sound. She makes it elementary terms for me. Because they try to complicate it here on YouTube. Oh, you got to have this. You got to have that. And then you got to have this. And then the next thing you know, it's a million things you need just to lose weight. Now, it's this simple. This is what you do. Cook your food. Duh, 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 duh. This is the ingredients. Like she she simplifies simplifies. Simplifies. Yeah, she do simplifies, but she simplifies everything. And it makes it so like, okay, this is obtainable. I can do this. It, it doesn't have to be a million steps. And I love CNC TV for that. Um, and she's just so down to earth. So if you don't check out my sis, I'll link it in the description box. But yeah, I got my water. I just went back to watch my old videos to see what I was doing. You know, so I can get back to that. I got my water. Um, I was working out. I was not making excuses. I had my watch on all the time. I had my Fitbit on. And I was getting 10,000 steps a day. Sometimes I was getting 20,000 steps a day because I was trying to win competitions. Because I was in competition groups and I'm a competitive person. Aries, duh. But, <laughs> um... I'm not going to be in competition with anyone this time. I'm just going to be in competition with myself, me versus me. <laughs> you know who I'm picking, me, <laughs> okay? <laughs> um, and I decided I want to do one of the hardest things. And this was the hardest thing. Even when I started um, my journey, and it was the hardest part when they said right before surgery, okay, for a week, you have to go without food. You got to go on a... Um, What's the, what's the thing called? It's a fat, not a fast. It's called a um, clear liquid diet or something. No, it's just a liquid diet. Because I was able to have my jellos and all that stuff. And I went back and I watched those videos and how I survived that week. And, and how I cried during that week. I cried the first day when I couldn't eat no food. I'm, I'm crying right now thinking about giving up my food. Like, because... If y'all noticed the progression from when my birth, my brother passed away, and I, it made me realize that last night too, that it became a snowball effect. Like I was, I looked amazing. After my brother died, it just, it went downhill. Cause my, I did surgery the September 11th. I had one summer where I looked really, really like snatched, okay? And then by the following summer, I lost my brother. After I lost my brother, I ate. And I remember how food used to just make me happy and comfort me. And then I was, I would eat, then I would stop, and I'm like, I gotta get back. And then I try to get back. And I would, you know, go on that up and down yo-yo. Then uh, that following summer, I got COVID and almost died. Had that mild stroke and developed a brain aneurysm in IIH. And things went more downhill. And before where I could catch myself when I was falling, because I would catch myself. If you look back in the videos, you'll see I raise up a little bit. You're like, what you get a little puffy in the face? Then boom, all of a sudden it's gone. Because I was starving myself to get back down. Then I, I got the IIH and, and I was weak and I, I just, I gave up. Like, I, ain't, I I can't say anything else. I gave up the IIH 
made it hard to lose weight. Um, it caused puffiness in the face. It caused a lot of issues um, that people don't even talk about because a lot of people don't talk about IIH. But then I gave up. My son's autism got worse. gave up I gave up and I just let every factor in life win I said you know what I'm gonna run to my happy place anytime I'm sad I'm running to my happy place kids stress me out because they're going through meltdowns you know what I do I go run to my happy pool my happy place and what's my happy place a fast food joint a ice cream. <laughs> I don't care if it made my stomach. I'm telling you, because eating a lot when you have weight loss surgery, it hurts your stomach really, really bad when you try to overeat. But some days I would do it anyway just to get out the pain I was feeling on my life. <laughs> because y'all just don't know the like the other channel easy. Because you just, you mask in life and you can put on a front. Here you can't on this channel. And um, I think after the last episode that happened with my IIH, when I was supposed to do um, some things at South by Southwest in March, and I couldn't because I was in um, the hospital, I really went into a deep depression about it. And that's when I got up to my worst so and that's actually a little bit worse than what I am right now I'm actually doing better um so I'm giving up my friend again <laughs> all that to say I'm giving up my friend again my confidant <laughs> who I rely so much on and I don't need to be relying on them I need to be relying on God not my my food So I know this next week is going to be very hard for me. And I'm ending this video sharing this because starting now, when this video ends or, you know, today, of course, I'm going to document me going back to the 188. So that's what we're doing. And it, like, I'm really crying about giving up my food. Like, Y'all can call it whatever you want, being fat, whatever you want. I don't care. But I know I got to, for one, get rid of that coping mechanism because it ain't doing me no good. And for two, who the heck want to get out? I'm just being 100 with myself. I ain't trying to be 310 again. I am not trying to get back up there. And there's nothing wrong if that's where you are right now. That's fine. But I know me and I know my joints hurt. This from the 40 pounds I got on that's extra from my lowest weight that this hurt and i don't want it my clothes don't fit right nothing feels good i have a puffy puffy face and i just don't want to be here i don't like this body i escaped this body i don't want it and i know they try to do a whole movement of oh you you know being body positive i'm all about body positivity but if i don't feel positive in this body i can't promote it and i don't feel good in it i want who i was in 2020 i need her i need her to show back up um so i'm not beating myself up i've been through a lot <laughs> the last two years i don't even know how i'm standing like anybody else would have folded if i tell y'all everything and eventually i'm gonna sit down and tell y'all everything that's happened to me in the past three years, y'all whole mouth gonna go, girl, you here? You you ain't trying to off, you ain't trying to off yourself? If y'all knew everything. So I'm gonna give myself some grace. I've been through a lot. But I've always said God uses some people as testimonies and God puts you through and God puts you through the worst because you're gonna come out, you're a warrior and you're gonna be able to help somebody else. So I'm about to go through all this again to show y'all you can do it. 
I'm going to do it. You can do it. We might fall down, but we get back up. What's the song go? For a saint is just a sinner who fell down and got back up. Y'all know the song. All right, then. So, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog so I can start the weight loss vlog. Because I'm going to start updating that once a week. Once a week? Once every week. Yeah, because I used to do my weight loss videos once a week. So I'm about to start the weight loss vlog. But I wanted to be emotional and raw in this one. And I wanted to say to Tina, the Tina that's here today, that... Girl, put your big girl panties on and shut up! <laughs> Stop crying! <laughs> and I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Bye!